Welcome again, dear friends, to the Wednesday edition of Fresh Bread. This is Reverend Phil Anderson, pastor of Oakland United Methodist Church in Kansas Avenue, United Methodist Church here in Topeka, Kansas. Well, my goodness, here it is now, July 21st. The days just keep flying by. The calendar pages keep on turning. We are now getting close to the end of July. Looking so forward to some of the things going on about 10 days from now, we'll be doing our knocking on some doors around our area. It doesn't mean you can't be witnessing and sharing Christ until then by any means, but this is our special day we're setting aside to go out for about an hour. Several of us, we're going to meet some neighbors, just show them that we care about them, that we love them. If we have something maybe to give them and hand them, that's great. But if not, we just want to make some relationships with people isn't it interesting how the churches are located right in the neighborhoods and yet we don't even know the neighbors so many times the churches are just sort of like little islands in these neighborhoods almost disconnected from their communities well we want to connect now we want to engage in the communities we want to develop relationships that's something that i need your help to do i cannot do that all by myself i need the church people those that are members of the church to get out and do that if you can go door to door please meet us at kansas avenue united methodist church around 10 30 on um, saturday july 31st and then over in oakland about 12 45 on saturday july 31st so we're going to go in oakland or i should say we're going to start out kansas avenue about 11 o'clock we'll go out for about an hour then we're going to go over to oakland and we're going to do the same thing over there and we need your help we need people to stand up and say i'm going to take part in this I'm, i care that much about these neighbors of ours folks are hurting Folks need the Lord. People are dealing with all sorts of addictions. They're dealing with sin habits. They're dealing with desperation. They're dealing with disillusionment. They're dealing with depression. Jesus Christ has the answer for all of those. And if we would but turn to him, he will heal us. He will take those broken vessels of our lives and he will restore them and he will make them new. So we want to share that love of Christ with our neighbors. Amen. That's what we want to do. We were all uh, at one time estranged from God. We were all at one time separated from God and he has brought us into that relationship with him. Uh, Romans 5, 8 says it best. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He didn't ask us to get our life together. He did not ask us to clean up our act. He did not act, ask us to somehow try to be good enough to do different things to earn his love and his grace. No, he just accepted us just as we are. So that's now what we want to do with others. We want to accept that love that Christ has given to us. And now we take that and we share it with other people. And so that's the goal here as we do this. We well, you know we were looking a little bit at Ephesians. We're in the book of Ephesians now this summer at the end of the summer here, I guess you could say from uh, mid-July into toward the end of August for about seven weeks. We're going to be looking at this epistle to the church in Ephesus. We believe Paul wrote it. There were questions whether he wrote it actually to the church of Ephesus or whether it was a general letter to go to different churches. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we do believe Paul wrote this and wrote it from prison while he was in Rome. There's a lot of similarities between Ephesians and Colossians, a lot of parallels. But the basic thing is today we're looking at this book of Ephesians. It's a great treatise on what it means to be a Christian as individuals and also as a church. What are we supposed to do as a church? Well, one of the things is we know that we're saved by grace. You know, that's something that I think Paul really nails down the first parts of Ephesians is that we are saved by grace, not by our works. It says here in Ephesians 2, 8, God saved you by his grace when you believe. Again, that moment of conception, that moment when we received the blessings that Christ wanted to give us. And listen to this, and you can't take credit for this. It is a gift from God. Salvation is not a reward for the good things we have done. So none of us can boast about it. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. Do you ever realize that Christ has a plan for your life? He has a plan for my life and he set us in motion to do these things. We just need to stay on track and that's our decision. We can let ourselves be led astray and if we do, that's our fault. But if we discipline ourselves in our minds, we take every thought captive and we say, you know what, we're gonna put out to the side all these distractions and things that we know are gonna be detrimental to our walk with Christ that's gonna get us off track. If we can push those aside, we know that we will stay focused on Christ and he's gonna use us mightily, not only in our own personal life and our relationship with him as we stay focused on him, but it's also gonna be a case where we realize how God's gonna use us in the lives of those around us. So that's what we need to do. I pray that that'll be your story and it'll be mine as well as we move forward in Christ. Well, you have a great day. God bless you. We'll talk to you again tomorrow on Fresh Bread.